in this video, we're going to discuss about the definition of proposition and negation. A proposition P is a statement which is either true or false but not both. If a proposition P is true, we assign a truth value as 1 to it, otherwise 0. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron tayong nakitang statement and then kaya nating i-determine kung true siya o kaya false siya, then that is a proposition. Pero kung imposible nating ma-determine na true siya o kaya false siya, that is not a proposition. Okay? So sa proposition, kapag true statement siya, ang ilalagay natin na truth value niya ay 1. Okay? So sa ibang book, ang nilalagay ay yung capital letter T. Then kapag false statement naman ng proposition, then ang ilalagay nating truth value ay 0. For example, Washington DC is the capital of the United States of America. Okay, so i-determine natin kung proposition siya o hindi. So since kaya nating ma-determine na yung statement na to ay true or false, so therefore this is a proposition. And alam natin na yung Washington Washington DC ay capital talaga ng USA. So this is true. And therefore this is a proposition. Okay? Kung true statement to, then ano yung truth value niya? So, this is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, take note yung symbol na to, ah. This is logically equivalent. Okay? Next, number 2. 2 plus 2 equals 3. So, this is false. So, therefore, proposition to. Okay? So, proposition siya, and then this is logically equivalent to 0. Meaning, false statement yan. So, number 3, what time is it? So, eto nagtatanong lang. So, hindi natin ma-determine kung true siya or false kasi nagtatanong lang siya. So, therefore, hindi siya proposition. So, not a proposition. Okay, number 4, x plus y equals z. So, dito, kung ituturing natin variable tong x, y, tsaka z, so, pwedeng true siya, pwedeng false. For example, et kung ito ay, kung x ay 2, tapos y ay 3, and then z ay 5, then true statement siya. Pero kung ituturing natin yung x ay 1, yung y ay 3, tapos yung z ay 7, so false statement siya. So ibig sabihin, pwedeng totoo, or pwedeng true, pwedeng false. So therefore, this is not a proposition. Not a proposition. Okay? So next, Toronto is the capital of Canada. So this is false statement. Yung Toronto, hindi siya capital ng Canada. So, this is a proposition and this is logically equivalent to zero. Read this carefully. So, dito parang nagbibigay lang siya ng instruction. So, ibig sabihin, wala siyang sinasabi kung, ah, hindi natin masasabi na true to or false to. Kasi instruction lang siya. So, therefore, this is not a proposition. Okay. So, next, x is an even number. Okay. So, eto, kung ituturing natin yung x na variable, kung yung x ay 1, this is false. Pero kung yung x ay 2, this is true. Okay? So, pwedeng false siya, pwedeng true. So, therefore, this is not a proposition. So, dapat isa lang sa kanila. Okay? Sabi nga, ba Either true or false but not both. Okay? Dapat true lang o kaya dapat false lang. Hindi pwedeng parehong pwede. Okay? So, next, number 8. 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, this is true. This is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple yung ating definition of proposition. Let's proceed to our negation. Let P be a proposition. The negation of P denoted by this symbol, read as not P, is a proposition not P. Okay? So, gawa natin ng truth table yung negation truth table. So, para maintindihan natin yung sinasabi ng definition, kung meron daw tayong proposition, let's say, proposition P, okay? So, alam natin na meron siyang dalawang possible truth values. So, pwedeng true siya o pwedeng false. Okay? And then, yung negation niya, which is not P, if the proposition is true, then, yung negation niya not true. So, this is false. And then, yung negation naman na ito, this is false. Then, yung not false is true. 
Okay? So, ito yung kanyang truth value. So, ang tawag sa table na to ay uh, truth table. Okay? Okay, so for example, number 1, 1 plus 1 equals 3. So, this is a proposition kasi alam natin na yung statement na yan ay false. So, therefore, yung truth value niya ay 0. Or this is logically equivalent to 0. Now, hanapin natin yung negation ng statement na to. So, paano yung negation niya? Okay? So, yung negation niya will be 1 plus 1 is not equal to 3. Okay? Which is logically equivalent to 1. Pwede naman, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So, this is also logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, another example. Let's say we have the statement, at least 10 inches of rain fell today in Kalaokan. Okay? So, at least 10 inches of rain fell today in Kalookan. So, hanapin natin oh, ng, ano to, ng negation. So, let's say, ano ah, let's say this is true. Halimbawa, nangyari to ngayon. Halimbawa lang naman. Then, ano yung negation niya? So, yung negation. Anyway, kahit naman hindi natin isipin na nangyari siya. So, let's say ngayon, hindi naman siya nangyari. Halimbawa, no? So, pwedeng... This is logically equivalent to 0. Let's say this is logically equivalent to 0. Then, ano yung negation niya? It is not the case. So, pwedeng ganitong statement. It is not the case that at least 10 inches of rain fell today in Kalaokan. Okay? So, kung ito yung not the case, then therefore, kung ito ay logically equivalent to 0, so this is logically equivalent to 1, yung negation. Okay? Or, pwede naman, less than 10 inches of rain fell today in Kalaokan. Okay? Kasi dito, at least, eh. Tapos, ito, less than. So, this is logically equivalent to 1. Okay, yung negation na. Okay, so number 3. Let's say, January 1 is the first day of the new year. Okay? So, yung January 1, siya daw yung first day ng new year. So, alam natin yan, this is true. Okay? Then, ano yung negation niya? So, yung negation niya, we can say, uh, pwede natin sabihin na January 1 is not the first day of the new year. Okay? So, this is logically equivalent to zero. Okay? Number 4. X is even. So, kanina, na-example ko na to kanina, this is not a proposition. So, ibig sabihin, wala siyang negation. No negation since it is not a proposition. 